Alright, so here is a rematch of myself playing a Zerg player who goes by Men's Ray, Ra, I don't know how to pronounce his name, and I'm under a different ID. Uh, this is a Zerg player I previously lost to in the last season, and this person definitely got the better of me, but like it wasn't close last season. The game was. was, um, definitely not even from the start. So I play a normal Bionic 6 Expand game, thinking he's playing standard. Oh, I'm going to immediately see this, and uh, the second I see that he hasn't had a second base, I um, immediately think, well, it's full first. Yep. So my reaction is just to... Well, I don't change anything. I do build my CC on the high ground, obviously, because you don't want CC on low ground. I checked for the third. I think my is still back here. Somewhere? I don't know. Oh, it's right here, but it's gonna die. Like, immediately. Yeah. Reaper stays home, obviously, because you don't know where the links could be. Tech club on the barracks with a second command center coming up. And then, um, obviously, like, the pool first is supposed to be aggressive, but again, I don't think it's done enough. At least I don't know if it has. That is a very fast layer. So, do I... See this? No, I don't know that this is happening. My Reaper gets to go out. He does get caught by the Overlord, but I don't think he reacts to me in time. Well, maybe he does. Oh, he just bypasses me. So now I see this, and I see, okay, so you're getting a lair. What could you be doing right now? Immediately I start up Engineering Bay thinking you does. Because that's probably the most crazy thing you could do. But as you can see, he cancelled it, and, uh, I don't obviously know that, but, you know, rather safe than sorry. You wouldn't know if he cancelled, because his links are here now. He's defending that. Mm. Obviously, these are a bit overkill, but again, I can't know that he's cancelled it. Yeah, there goes my reaper. I do see that this is happening, so I know he's on three. Now the layer's up. So he just, I guess, blocked me a little bit. There's the bane link now. Mm. For the most part, I think this is a relatively easy game. Thirty-four, thirty-six. Yeah, this is this is a relatively even game right here. So we see a hydro is done. So he did actually go hydro in this game. And uh. The double evo is for plus one. Plus one. Obviously the mines do amazing work here and just clean this up with the hellions. Um, that was pretty bad for him because now he's wasted a bunch of larva on what could have been drones on Zerglings that tragically have done nothing. The hellions move out obviously for map peasants. Um, uh, funny enough, <laughs> the kiting is a little funny, but uh, splash damage is something you have to respect as a story. And right now the Hellions are just trying to see if he goes for a fourth, which might be this, probably. It could be this base, but um, I'm more banking on that happening, because of the way the bases work. He gets a nice around for a second here, but uh, I do lose a Hellion, which kind of blows, but uh, I have a few more coming up. He's uh, using a Overlord spread creep ability to stop that, thinking that's my third. And he does it there too. <clears throat> he has plus two on the way, whereas I only have plus one. So this could be a little bit dangerous because obviously, you know, upgrade advantage is a bit scary to give over to the third. I'm just clearing away some creep, making sure he's at home. Obviously, at this point, I know, okay, so it's probably not Mutos because he would have shelled by now. So I'm guessing Hydra's at this point. I add on a second factory. As you can see, he's trying to rush the lurkers right now. I just see all the hydras and all the links, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, these do get chased down, unfortunately. But my army also moves out. Catches this army here. The mines burrow and the bio just moves away. Kills all the veins. I don't know if I have enough here, do I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because the, um,. Bio is 1-1 and the range upgrades haven't happened yet, so 
I can fight for a third here. And I, uh, I move up kind of ambitiously. His fourth is up. So, a little ambitious, but we'll see. He's on 50 drones, but he does not have that 80 drone economy right now. He doesn't have a big bank to lean on. Also, the mines are kind of wonky because I do hit my own medevac. The tanks are not able to do too much in this fight, which kind of sucks, but, you know, tanks are tanks. Also, there's a medevac fully loaded that's, like, on no health, which is not ideal. I kind of bait him here, but, uh, he kind of falls for it, oddly enough. Yeah, so he doesn't actually target fire, or he doesn't get the tank. 41 HP, so, as you can see, now he gets it. But it took a few times, which means he's bled out a lot of hydras. And at this point, I have a supply lead, and I am shit. I'm literally on his throat right now. I see that move, and I move away immediately with those tanks. The mine is still there, but he has, like, no attention. I move up to this base, try to get onto it, but, uh, doesn't quite work, but he gives up, because, as you realize, he has nothing in the production tab. If you look at the units, 63 drones is not enough to stand up the three base Terran on a fort. Like, this should have been fully saturated. Um, the upgrades were a bit weird and wonky because he went melee instead of range, so he had nothing on hydras and nothing on workers. So, a little bit of an odd game, but that's finally one of my opponents I've won against that I lost to previously.